today is Thursday, January 7th, 2010, and you're watching La Sojourn. This is our very cute little hotel room. This is the first hotel we've been in so far that actually gave us a full kitchen, which is kind of neat. Look, it's a UFO! <laughs> Last night, when we said there wasn't a lot of alien stuff around, we were pretty much mistaken. Just about everything on downtown Roswell's main drag has some mention of aliens. We stopped at the Roswell International UFO Museum. We just left the UFO museum and we're going to look around. This place looks like it has a lot of really cute shops that now in the daylight we can see. Um, I'm kind of disappointed with the museum. It's not as extensive as I thought it would be, but it was neat. I was satisfied with the museum. I mean, it's only five bucks to get in and they did have a lot of information. I mean, if you're okay with walking around and reading a lot of information cards and looking at a lot of old photographs. That's the majority of what they have. Unfortunately, they don't have a whole lot of physical evidence. But that being said, if they did, there wouldn't be any question about whether or not it actually happened. So, as with everything else UFO related, you kind of have to take it with a little bit of faith. Roswell is a fun city to walk around though. Very interesting. Lots of nice, neat little shops and friendly locals. We thought we saw a flying saucer, but it was just this building. Aliens welcome at Arby's. We are leaving Roswell, New Mexico. We just got on the road to El Paso, Texas. We're off to visit a friend of Ethan's and hopefully not get shot by any drug lords. Gigantic fucking drinks like this are part of the reason why we have such an obesity problem in this country. We've been on the road to El Paso for about an hour and uh, we've been through miles upon miles of beautiful desert and, and desert mountainscapes. It is a beautiful drive. We've been passing through a lot of cute little farm towns and um, and almost like ghost towns, but you know they don't look abandoned. Uh, we haven't seen a whole lot of people, but uh, people really do live out here, and I guess they must be farmers for the most part. There's a couple of butcher shops, that kind of thing, and it's interesting. It's it's these must these must be pretty small, tight knit, self sufficient communities because we're pretty far out in the middle of nowhere. Now we're up in the mountains, and we've encountered snow again. That's awesome. Fuck snow. The coolest, most unexpected smoke shop ever just had to be closed when we passed by. So we've been going for a while now, and we've passed through a couple of towns that look like they were airlifted out of Mexico. <laughs> so here we are. We've stopped. <laughs> We've gotten off the highway, taken a little trot through the desert to take a look around. Um, it's quite chilly, but it's very nice. Uh, and uh, we're about an hour away from El Paso, so we're probably just gonna burn right there from here. What do you think, Crystal? You like the desert? Yes. Okay. 
We've arrived in El Paso. A couple of days ago, my mom gave me a call and she said to avoid southern Texas. And I asked why. And she said, well, she heard that there was a lot of violence going on with regard to uh, local drug wars along the Texas-Mexican border. And I asked her if she said if she knew that El Paso was or was not in involved, and she said that she believed it was. And of course, I figured that, of course, it's my mom, maybe she's overreacting a little bit, maybe she misheard the thing, because, you know, she wasn't sure about where or when it happened exactly, so I figured, whatever, I mean, we'll be play it cautiously, but for the moment I had no reason to worry. But every time we mentioned the fact that we're going to El Paso and anybody today, their reaction has been more or less, don't get shot. What you are now looking at is Juarez, Mexico, where lots and lots of drug-related violence is happening right now. But we are insulated from it because we are in the United States, across a heavily militarized border. And interestingly enough, it is our drug trade and the demand for those drugs in this country that is causing all of the violence that is happening just over there. Well, we have left El Paso, and now we are headed on the road to Tombstone, Arizona. Uh, Aaron, if you're watching, thanks for the delightful dinner. Uh, we, we spent an evening with my buddy Aaron, who lives in El Paso, and uh, now that that's all done, we're going to head off to Tombstone, Arizona. Hopefully we'll make it there by the evening and crash, uh, and in the morning we will explore the city of Tombstone. So, here we go.